In today's video, I will be going over my top five budget items for model railroading. These items I have used over the last year have really helped me with my layout and I wanna share it with you guys. So let's get started. Number one, dirt is gonna be my first choice on this list. It is free pretty much everywhere and also adds a great level of realism to any layout. You do need to bake it to kill any microorganisms or critters, but then it's perfectly safe. I like to sift mine to a finer powder and I also like to add grout mix, but I'll probably explain that in another video. And another plus about it is I could just get it from my own backyard. Number two. This one isn't a single item alone, but a plethora of items that you could get all at one place. That one place is the Dollar Tree. Here you'll find a nice alternative to Woodland Scenics paving tape, bottles for gluing, even my beloved chalkboard paint. In the kitchen section, you'll find the sifters that I use to sift the dirt. Even the smaller one that I use the most. And it's all $1.25. There are a ton of other items there to look for, but of course it is up to you to choose what's going to help you on your layout. If you are curious, this is all painted with that chalkboard paint. Number three. Painting is a large part of this hobby, and these 50 cent bottles of acrylic paint come in handy quite a bit. Not only are they a great price, but it's what I use for painting roads and even the road lines. I wouldn't suggest using these on large kits or things along that nature, but when it comes to small things like these, they are the perfect item to use. All of which can be found at Walmart. And the color options are very good. Number four, sculpt the mold is what's next up. It is one of the more expensive items on this list at $12 a bag, but I have yet to buy any more since I got it well over eight months ago. Not only is it great for filling in past mistakes, but it is the best for forming hills and even mountains on your layout. It's definitely a clean and somewhat cheap way of doing so. And it could be found online or in most hobby stores. Number five. For the last item, I decided to go with modeling wood. It's relatively cheap, easy to use and cut, and it's also easy to paint. I like to use them for my sidewalks, but honestly the possibilities are endless. For example, this entire section here is made up of that wood, and I also used the paint that I mentioned previously to paint it. Now you may want to treat the wood before using it, or it will bow quite a bit. Or you can glue it down and weigh it down with heavy objects like I've pretty much done every time. So hopefully you were able to learn a few things and are able to save a little bit of money with these things that I showed you in this very fun but expensive hobby. If you do have any questions on the items I showed today, please do drop them down in the comment section below and I will be sure to get to you. Happy railroading guys and I will see you in the next video. Take care.